Hello. So, today I wanted to do an updated like makeup routine. I'm going out tonight. Um, I don't know if I've done one on my channel before I have. It was a long, long time ago. Um, if you've noticed, I've dyed my hair a lot darker. I just thought for winter, I wanted to go for something darker. Um, so I thought I'll just do it. While I do my eyebrows, I'm going to pop on some little under eye pads. Um, but oh, um, is that how you wear it? Oh, I don't know, I'm just going to leave it on. I feel like these are slipping. They're really stiffened down. It looks like two green slugs on my face. Anyway, I actually need to do my makeup. I like, got ready early so I could film this video and now I'm pissing about with skincare. Plans for tonight. Um, my auntie's here from Australia. Shout out to Sarah. So we're going for a meal. We're going for some Turkish food tonight, which I'm really excited for. And then I'm going out with my friends for some drinks. Head up to town, all of that good stuff. Also, by the way, I'm using the collection uh, Clear Mascara to the Echo hair gel, like in the green pot. I went to that, but it didn't slick my brows how it slicks my hair. I thought, oh, I'll use it for kind of like a both, but that didn't really work out in my favour. So, I'm back to the collection. I just went ahead and underlined my eyebrows with the Revolution foundation stick in F2. I have used this foundation stick since it, as a concealer, I think since about possibly year 11 or year 12. I got it as a foundation stick when in like year 10 when I convinced myself I was the palest shade of foundation, which I really wasn't. Um, and then I thought, right, well I've got two sticks of it now and I'm not that shade, so what do I do with it? And I was like, it can be a concealer because it's literally the brightest shade. Um, so that's now my concealer. It's really good, really nice creamy consistency. I like I said, had this in my makeup routine for ages, and I really, really like it. The only thing is, it's quite thick, and I'm just blending the concealer out with this little Zoeva brush. She's really good. I got one set of Zoeva brushes for Christmas once, and I've literally never gone back. Love a Zoeva brush. I'm gonna peel these off now. Are done. My eyes do feel really nice. I'm just gonna go and rub this in. Uh, I'm then going to moisturise. I don't use a fancy moisturiser, I actually just use Boots Own. I don't know what I used before this, I think it was a simple one, but this is what I've, this is the one I've got at the moment, so I've just been using this. Uh, I like to use a lot of moisturiser. I remember when I didn't use any. I was about 17, I didn't use any moisturiser underneath my foundation, and I honestly can't imagine anything worse now of not using it. Um, I lather it on. I love moisturizer my face looks like a ghost now my eyeshadow off camera because one i switch up every time i do my makeup so it's not actually included in the video and second of all it, it will probably take as much time as my base and then the video will be about an hour long so i'll come back when i've done my eyes i don't actually know what i'm doing yet so i don't know what i'm wearing so i've done my eye makeup i just did kind of like if i don't know what i'm wearing i will literally just do a nude gold glitter brown wing moment and I will always be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Mono Renaissance palette. I literally use the same shades. I use raw sienna and burnt orange in the crease, primavera on the lid and cypress umber for the wing. So that is it if you wanted to know. It didn't actually take as long as I thought but it would have taken even longer if I'd filmed it because I would not stop talking. And then I'm just going to wipe underneath and now for my base i actually always swap between right i just think my skin tone changes every time i do my makeup so i've got three different shades that i like mix switch between whatever mood i'm in how heavy coverage i want to go so tonight it also depends who i'm with today i think because i'm going out out i want to do all foundation sometimes i incorporate the flawless filter but we're going going out so we're going to go for a full of glam and i mix these two if i'm really tanned i'll just use the 04 if I'm not as tan, I'll just use this. If I want to do both, I'll do both. So, it's the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. This has been my foundation, again, for years. It is the best foundation. It's full coverage, but it's light. Like, honestly, I'd recommend this to anybody. Uh, and I don't think I'm that tan at the moment because I've not been on any sunbeds. So, I'm going to mainly be going in with the 03. Just put one pump on my hand. And I just literally, I wash my hands while I do my makeup before anyone tells me that this is really unhygienic this is obviously just like one pump so it's not actually that much foundation either i feel like if i put it on like this 
I can spread it so much better whereas if I pump it straight onto my face I go through like three pumps on one face I mean that's not that much but like I can re like what's it avoid doing that this way also if you can use a music it's scissor it might like some point even one then I'm going with number four again one pump pop this again just like all over my face I feel like this could be definitely uh, too much foundation if you are wondering why my beef blender is so big I use the body blender and I will never ever go back from this after this my friend used it and I was like oh that's like a really cool idea and the next time I went to go and use blender I was like mm, okay the makeup goes so much quicker because obviously oh let me just blend my note first I was like about to cry um <laughs> my makeup goes so much quicker because obviously the surface area of product you're blending like that is almost my whole cheek with the sponge and look how quick I just did that I do really love my makeup at the moment because I've become such a blush girl and I was blush in like younger years in school loved blush then everyone went to bronzing and orange makeup so I was like I hate blush I'm not using blush and then I was like why don't I use blush anymore and I'm absolutely loving it at the moment um I've got this blush that I've had for years I just wasn't using sat in my drawer and it's the most beautiful colour foundation splendid next steps contour i always do contour first this is the makeup revolution conceal and define infinite concealer these are really pigmented mine's in the shade 13.5 um it's obviously darker than my skin tone i just blend this into my forehead i don't in-depth contour that's because i don't really know how to but like i think just adding the darker concealer where i want my face to kind of have some shape really does help just put it on my cheeks as well and then i use a lighter one on my nose because um this one is very dark going for turkish food and i don't often eat turkish food the last time i went i got like a halloum flatbread i want to say which was delicious but i don't usually go for it um <clears throat> but yeah that's about blended in Next step, I'm going for my Made by Mitchell liquid blush, even though it's contour, in Creme Carb. I got the lightest shade, which was really quite silly of me because I'm not the lightest shade. But I was just really scared that it was going to be dark, even though I use dark products. But do you know what I mean? I just thought, oh, I'll just get the light one. I'm not an in depth contourer, like I said, but you know, cute pop that on there. Next step, which I love love this step but anyway i literally just put so much on this is the made by mitchell as well literally just put so much on uh this is the can't cope with coral again this just comes this comes in the trio i've got the trio of the highlight concealer and bronzer um that's why my i don't know if you can see my beauty blender is really pink uh on there and then i just tap this in i have sped through my makeup i don't need to be ready till half seven it's quarter to six but i did purposefully get ready really quickly because i want to do tiktoks i'm trying to be more active it's my new year's resolution if you couldn't tell because before this video i will have uploaded the um vlog and then put that concealer under my eyes on any spots that i have just dab it on don't like to use too much this because like i said at the start it's really full coverage um but yeah that's on blend in i really need to get like three different beauty blenders and to be fair what i sometimes do and i will today if i've got like a sharp uh liner moment is i don't do like a little bit of concealer underneath i feel like like i then i put the concealer underneath it anyway but like draw it out because i feel like it just like snatches your face like i'm gonna leave that but then once it's blending out my face be like Blend that all out with the concealer. I've got a tiny bit of blush on as well. The blush is not picking up on this camera, but I promise it's on. Then, this honestly is one of the best new products I own, and part of like the main reason I like, wanted to do an updated video. This is the setting powder Ultra Blur. This is incredible. This is amazing. I used to use the original Laura, ran out, and I was like to the girl, Oh, just want to be by my Laura. She's like, Oh, this is brand new out today. Do you want to try it? And I was like, yeah, I can't say no. Didn't regret it. I'm also using my Pound Lashes little powder puff, which I've never used before. So this is really exciting because everybody says that powder puffs like melt their makeup into their skin. So yeah, I mean, it looks good. 
it takes i'm being like more cautious though because i've like never used it before like patting it into my skin I had a look on my phone and it does actually look really really good do you know what i think the reason everyone loves these is because beauty blood Blo can i speak beauty blenders literally off these and they steal like half the product you put on them um i mean yeah the, the pad does look really nice slaying with that one and i can't really can i bake can i carve out my bronzer with this can i oh yeah i can next is this amazing bronzer again it's the nyx bronzer it's deep tan mbb05 matte bronzer really really nice i had a favorite and i smashed it and then realized i discontinued it it was like my favorite it was like the perfect well i thought it was like the perfect bronzing color but after this one i've not looked back this is more like a brown like deep tan the other one now i look back was quite orange this is beautiful like this is absolutely beautiful you just see it like elevates the cream contour i never used to use cream products to be honest i thought they were didn't really like do much but now i just do cream and then i just like top it up with a bit of um brown like bronzing powder which i think is really cute then i'm gonna take this just like round my forehead as well um and then i'm gonna bring it down my nose too don't use this with my finger i just really do not want like muddy brown highlighted and i'm gonna take my mermaid brush do you know what i've had these for years they're literally primark mermaid brushes my sister got me them when she must have been really young because she didn't really know what to get me for Christmas. And I honestly, I prefer the powder brush to my Real Techniques. I find the Real Techniques one to be really dense and doesn't actually feel like you're sweeping off the product. Um, and this bronzer contour brush is amazing. I prefer this to my Real Techniques as well. Um, the Real Techniques blush brush is like irreplaceable. Anyway, that's that. Next, I go in with the Too Faced sweetheart brush blush now i don't think they've discontinued these i did get it a while ago though this is the perfect flush brush it's the darkest one how beautiful is that it's absolutely stunning and i go in with my zoeva brush what's the name of this 137 lux i think it's a highlight brush but the perfect dome for a blush now i accidentally put way too much on of this yesterday but you will just see it create the most gorgeous like pink colour on my skin. Well, you should do it if the bloody camera picks it up. Um, I'm in person, it's just beautiful. Literally when I'm at work, because I work in like fragrance and beauty in Manchester, everyone's like, oh my god, what blush do you use? But that's why I think it's discontinued, because when I went to show the girl, it wasn't at the counter, and I was like very, very confused. Um, unless it just wasn't in at that moment in time. Uh, I'm gonna dust off my powder with this little mermaid primer brush. And that powder is just setting everything so nicely. Absolutely love it. Highlights. I'm going for the Anastasia palette. She, look at her. She has been, she was my first high-end makeup product. She's been battered. She is well used. She, this one smashed on me. I didn't use all the purple one. The gold one, I hit the pan. It was my favourite ever. And this is really nice as well. This kind of cracked as well. Anyway, the taffy, never used it when I was younger. I was like, oh, why would I use this? But now, this is the perfect highlighter because it just merges with my blush so perfectly. Like, it just looks so nice like it's like a stepped up like version of the blush in a highlight because i don't want to have like a white streak on my face this is just like perfect because i know a lot of people don't even use highlighter anymore but i just love it like just a little bit of glow like why not i do put this literally on all over my face <laughs> but like a bit here a bit here take it and put it on all the areas i highlight then in the inner corner as well I take the white one on the cupid's bow as well because I like it to be like nice and highlighted. And then the powder highlighter. I dab on Made by Mitchell Blush in A Chance of Peach. The names are so cute. 
and I like put this on here. This, this is gorgeous. When it gets to summer, because I didn't have these last summer, tan skin and this just like oh dollops all over my face is gonna be gorgeous and I just a little bit. So I really don't think I look as glowy as I do in person. Like, can you see her? Just discovered this and I absolutely love it. It's the Lash Lift, the Volsies Lash Lift Ultra Black from Maybelline, and this is really, really nice. Obviously, curl my lashes as well. Um, I do like a lash, um, but I've only got the dose of lashes at the moment, the baddie lashes, and they're really nice, but they're like a lot. I need to go into just anywhere, really, and get like a more natural lash. I used to have some. If you were an OG, you'll know. Used to get some from Amazon to stick on the outer corners. I don't have any of those, but do I have some? Because that that would elevate this snatch. I've now got both lashes stuck on. And let me just zoom in. You will be able to tell. You just see there, can't you? Yeah. You could just tell there's like just that little bit. I think it makes it like high vibe. I really like it to be fair, it's quite natural. I'm gonna go and do my hair and then come back because I don't want to do my lips before my hair because it's all going to get stuck. I curled my hair. Um, I use a GHD curl glam wave thing. Start with the collection lip definer in nude pink. This is number one. This is really good. I love this. It's really creamy like a crayon type thing and I just line the lips. Literally so easy. Just like that uh, and it looks like a really dark shade before I put anything on top of it but like it is the lighter shade I'm pretty sure because it's number one then I go in with my new uh, lip injection by Too Faced this is the maximum plump this is really good it gives you like really good tingles on the cupid's bow around that's what it looks like then lastly I packed on my Fenty Fussy Gloss because I just love the colour of this and I just like to like pat it on the top and then you have the glossiest lip from the gods and that's my makeup done and you've got to see my hair this is it the makeup routine updated and my makeup has actually gone really well which is good because I thought the video that it wouldn't but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up comment some video ideas because i will be posting more in the new year but yeah hope you enjoyed i'll see you next time bye